students uh, in the last 4 5 days uh, there was a puja vacation and i hope you have relaxed and enjoyed yourselves to the fullest extent i know there are little uh, limited number of things that you could do but uh, let us get back to vacation updating okay i have given you a lot of material at one go uh, here we will get into the details that is bit by bit details at least through one or two examples okay the first and probably the simplest example is that of exponential distribution how to perform bayesian updating for exponential distribution so for exponential distribution let us start with the pdf we know that the pdf is lambda e to the power minus lambda x so what is Bayesian updating. See some of these things I am assuming that you are you have read the slides. Okay. Now that's a tacit assumption. So Bayesian update or Bayes rule I would like to say. Let's say Bayes rule. Bayes rule will be a better choice. That will be given by f of theta given data this is the posterior density function now theta is lambda for us the parameter that is equal to f d given theta which is the likelihood into f theta by the total uh, the total prob probability the total probability will be given by the integral of it is f d given theta into f theta d theta right? that's the total probability now from here on i'm not going to use theta i'll use lambda because we know that lambda is the parameter right and what is data the, uh, sorry what is d d is basically the data observed data which could be x1 x2 okay as many as we are possibly can and as many number of points that we can possibly get right but we have to remember that we are dealing with limited data so it will not be a very exhaustive data set right so so first thing first step is finding the likelihood that is step 1 step 1 is likelihood Please check the spelling of likelihood. I think this is correct. Sometimes I goof up. Uh, the likelihood would be given by f d given lambda. Now that is so. This is the density function, like PDF. So the likelihood function would be written as the pi of that is product of i equals to 1 to n lambda into e to the power minus lambda x i right so basically lambda e to the power minus lambda x1 into lambda e to the power uh, minus lambda x2 and so on basically your it's a, pro, a multiplication of the probability densities right so we have already discussed about likelihood so so this kind of simplifies to lambda to the power n if I carry out the product into e to the power minus lambda and this becomes x1 plus x2 plus x3 and so on okay so, so let us say that this guy I mean in case you just get lost so I'm just boxing it up a little bit so this guy I would say that this guy is M which is a constant right so coming back so this becomes lambda to the power n into e to the power minus M lambda or lambda M that is fine so this is the likelihood function And what is the prior? Now, prior is the interesting part because up till now I have not, we have not discussed about prior. 
but of course that forms the integral part of Bayesian update. Uh, how do we write down the priors? Now that's a very uh, a very interesting and a profound topic by itself. There is uh, this is a thing called informed priors or informative priors and uninformative or non-informative priors. There is a class of prior called Jeffrey's prior. I'm not getting into all that jargon because that will not be necessary. A very naive observation on likelihood tells us that if the likelihood looks something like this, lambda n e to the power minus lambda, two things we have to remember. Now the priority is over lambda, right? The priority is over lambda. So it's basically f lambda. That is we are trying to define a distribution over lambda. That's the first thing. The second thing is how are you going to define a distribution over lambda? So we will write as e to the power, just mimicking the likelihood. We are just trying to mimicking the, uh, mimic the likelihood and we will say that it is alpha into e to the power minus alpha lambda, right? Remember lambda is random variable. If x is random variable, the PDF is lambda e to the power minus lambda x we are subbing that x with lambda. So it will be alpha into the power minus alpha lambda. And what is this alpha? This alpha is called the hyperparameter, right? This is sometimes called as the hyperparameter. Well, I have talked about hyperparameters in my slide, in my basically the presentation. So you can go through them, the whole idea, right? So the numerator, so if I express this as numerator over denominator. So the numerator simply becomes the product of the two. So the numerator, I would like to write as, it is very important to be systematic with this you know, derivations. Otherwise you can get lost very easily, right? So numerator would be lambda n into alpha into e to the power minus alpha plus m into lambda, right? So this is the numerator. Observe that this alpha is a constant, so it is better to write it in a slightly reversed manner. I would put alpha outside and you will pretty soon see why alpha is outside and It's a careful way of writing, right? So this is basically the numerator. And what will be the denominator? Denominator will be basically the integration. Alpha goes out because zero to infinity, lambda to the power n into e to the power minus alpha plus m lambda over d lambda right now this is the de denominator denominator is nothing but the integration of the numerator nothing else that's the total probability so basically if I'm just boxing it so that you can see the denominator and under realize that it is nothing but this numer numerator which is integrated over d, d lambda and in the next lecture i'll show you how this integration is performed